Hey guys, welcome to today's video where I'm going to show you an easy way to access bot user data rather than doing it the difficult way and that is through API endpoints. So UChat has a lot of API endpoints, right? Over 40, maybe even, I believe, 50, 60 even. And some users are just not technical, uh, technical enough to grab those endpoints and get all the information. But you can now actually do this inside the flow builder and not many users know this. So when going with an action block, we can go with add item, advanced actions, and then from here we have bot user API. So from here, if we're going to take a look on all the available actions, we can list all the tags, we can check if the user has a certain tag, we can add tags, remove tags, uh, remove all tags, list subscribe sequences. So if it has any subscribe sequences, you can do so. You can also get the shopping cart details. Uh, you can also list the shop orders. So if this user has made any orders through the native e-commerce, all of those orders will be listed here as well. And one that is being used more often is to list the chat text messages. And if we take this as an example, right? And I'm going to fill in my test bot user NS to test. So this again is for testing only. If you run this on a live preview, then it will automatically use the bot user NS of that specific user that is previewing the flow. But if we're going to take a look, we can include agent messages. We can include bot messages, yes or no. We can also limit it to 10 by default, but we can also go, let's say 50, right? And we can also use three different kinds of formats. So the default format. So if we're going to take a look here, then this is the default format that you normally receive also by the UChat API endpoint. And you will have the message type, the content, the TS. So the TS is the timestamp. And then from, so from is the role of the person who sent the message. So in this case, it would be agent. And here it's user, right? Um, you can also format it with text. And if we take a look here, then you will have a text transcript like this. Perfectly already done for you. But some will also want to have timestamps. So those are implemented as well. So if we say text with time, then look at a beautiful text transcript that you have of the conversation with your user, right? So these this are about 50 messages, but you can also make it longer up to 100, I believe. Well, no, 50 is, is indeed the uh, most. So 50 seems to be the limit in getting the transcripts here. So 50 messages. Uh, but this, of course, are, is from a lot of testing, those values that you see here. But you can see how beautiful it's already formatted, right? So it's ready for you to just map it as such, save it towards any kind of custom field that you like to. So this could go inside of a text field, and then you'll have multiple lines like this, or you can save it as a JSON field and format it inside of a JavaScript, for example. So that is something that you can do as well. But you can see that you can access a lot of different kinds of actions inside the bot user API. So normally you would go towards the UChat API Swagger Docs, and as you can see, there are a lot of different kinds of API endpoints. I mean, a lot, as you can see. And you can just use the bot user API to do something related towards the subscriber, so the bot user itself, right? So again, you can add check tags, and as you can see, you have different kinds of options here. There are, of course, more options inside of the Swagger Docs than we have inside the bot user API, but these were the most uh, most requested and most used actions related towards bot users. So I think there are a lot of users that did not know about this specific feature, right? And I just wanted to make sure that you know about it because it can save a lot of time creating all of those external requests to call the API endpoints while you have them available directly here. So if you have any questions, do let us know and we'll try to help you out as soon as possible. So if you need any help, just send in a ticket to email ticket at uchat.com.au and we'll try to respond as soon as possible. During weekends, the replies will be a bit delayed uh, because it's weekends, but in general, we reply within just a few hours time. So again, try to use the bot user API, have some fun with it, take a look at what it can do for you. Maybe it can replace a few API calls on your end and make life just a little bit easier. For now, have a great day, have a great weekend, take care and talk soon.